What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and we just got our first official trailer for the Overwatch 2 Cowboy Bebop collab, featuring our first look at the five new upcoming skins, which look phenomenal. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. This trailer was awesome. It was done in an anime style, reminiscent of the original Cowboy Bebop opening, even including the original opening song, which I would love to play for you here, but I don't want to get copyright struck. But it's done in a wholly original animation, showing off the characters who will be getting the skins, which are indeed, first and foremost, Spike Cassidy, who looks phenomenal here. I love the design of this skin for him. And they even did the amazing little detail of making his revolver styled after his ship, the swordfish. That is a great attention to detail right there. I love it. Next up, though, we get a look at Faye. Ash, of course, of course, Ash is Faye. I called it. Everyone called it. This was going to be obvious. But the real surprise twist here with Ash's skin is Bob. Some people were speculating maybe Bob would end up being Jet. You know, I was one of those people who suggested that. But no, lo and behold, Bob is Faye's ship, the Red Tail. Oh my god, that is such a great idea. That's perfect. That is the perfect way to implement not only her ship into this collab, but just the perfect thing to give Bob for this integration. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. I love the direction of these skins. Speaking of Jet, though, next up we get his skin, which will be for Mauga. Yes! Finally, Mauga is getting a new proper legendary skin, and lo and behold, it is Jet from Cowboy Bebop. Oh my god, it looks so good though. This looks great. The huge guns. They did a really good job of detailing his face here to just look like Jet, but still maintaining that sort of Mauga aesthetic. Granted, we haven't really seen the in-game models of these characters just yet. It's just the animated artwork that we see here in the trailer, but I'm loving this Jet skin right off the bat. I'm loving all of these skins. They are great. And that takes us then onto the fourth new skin being the Ed skin, which they did indeed end up giving to Sombra. Yes, there is some debate back and forth. Who is going to get the Ed skin? Is it going to be Kiriko, Tracer, Sombra? They did go with Sombra. They went with the hacker in Overwatch, which, let's be honest, is probably the most fitting character to get an Ed skin. And this one's a bit curious because it doesn't particularly look that much like Sombra, if you ask me, at least compared to the other skins, which look like very nice hybrids between the Cowboy Bebop character and the Overwatch character. This one kind of just looks like Ed, not that much like Sombra. I guess we'll have to wait and see what it looks like in game. But yeah, lo and behold, indeed, Ed the hacker is Sombra the Hacker. Works perfectly. But then last, and so far from least, we indeed, and this is one which people had speculated about, and I personally thought was going to be a little too absurd for them to actually do, but no, lo and behold, they did it. Wrecking Ball Hammond as Ein the Data Dog. Yep, just, just turn him into a dog. Hammond is a dog now. Hammond has a Cowboy Bebop skin where he's eyeing the data dog. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He looks so funny here. We don't get a great look at him here. He kind of shows up the least. I'm going to go out on a limb and hazard that he's going to be like the free skin you can get as part of this collab, probably by participating in challenges or something. And then the other four main human characters are going to be the ones you have to actually buy in the shop. We don't have those details just yet, though. That's just my sort of speculation at this point. But indeed, there will be a total of five skins representing the five main characters from Cowboy Bebop, and they all look phenomenal. Now, additionally, we do have a clear-cut confirmation on the start date for this collab as well, which will be Tuesday, March 12th, this upcoming Tuesday, the same day as the mid-season balance patch, so there's likely going to be some hero changes coming through at that time as well, along with the Hero Mastery Gauntlet mode that'll be releasing on that day as well. But now we do have our first official look at the new skins, for this Bebop event. Now, we don't have any information just yet on whether or not there's gonna be any sort of tie-in game mode as a part of this collab. We have seen some collab events have a tie-in game mode. The La Seraphim collab, of course, had its 
concert crash game mode, which was actually pretty fun. But then going back about a year, there was the One Punch Man collab where we got the Doomfist Saitama skin. There wasn't any sort of game mode corresponding with that. So we don't know just yet whether Cowboy Bebop is going to have its own game mode as well. Honestly, I could see it going either way. Also, we don't have any additional details just yet for cosmetics beyond these five main skins. There's a pretty good chance we'll be getting victory poses, emotes, highlight intros, probably like sprays and voice lines and stuff too on top of just the skins themselves. But at the time of me making this initial video, we haven't gotten a look at any of that stuff just yet. So stay tuned. I don't know if Blizzard's going to be releasing more trailers for this in the coming days, showing off more information about the event. Honestly, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they just dropped this trailer, let us enjoy it, and then don't say anything more about it until Tuesday when the actual collab event kicks off. Either way, I'll for sure be jumping in game on Tuesday to play this collab event, getting all those new skins because, oh my goodness, they look so good. And I hope you all will be joining me as well. I will be doing a live stream for it as I typically have been doing on Tuesdays. And I'm betting this is gonna be an extra exciting, super juicy one. That ought to do it though for this quick Cowboy Bebop Overwatch collab trailer video. Man, I am excited for this. Season nine has felt a bit, I don't know, sort of mediocre, honestly, leading up to this point, the first half of the season. The competitive changes were interesting, balance changes were interesting, but it didn't feel like there was a lot of real oomph to the season itself, not a lot of real exciting sort of like content to sink our teeth into. Now I think we're definitely starting to get that with the Cowboy Bebop event. Oh man, I'm so hyped for this. Kind of sucks if you're a support player though. We're only getting skins for damage and tank heroes. Three damage heroes, two tanks, no support skins. That's a little unfortunate, but eh, you know. I think the characters they picked for the five skins here are pretty good. Yeah, I, I have no qualms with their selection of heroes to get these crossover skins. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments down below. Are you excited to get your hands on these Cowboy Bebop skins? Are you interested and in, are you excited to get your hands on these Cowboy Bebop skins? Are they for the heroes you were hoping and expecting them to be for? Or I don't know, maybe you're expecting something else or maybe you're just excited to wait and see if there's a new game mode with all this. Either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, be sure to subscribe, hit up that bell icon, come follow me on X and join my Discord server to hang out and never miss any of my future Overwatch 2 news streams and other content. Special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible. And if you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards, then just hit that join button down below. Otherwise, this is Master Ian Gamer signing off. And until next time, have a great day.